So you can buy coal from here, or you can buy it from somewhere where the where the environment gets destroyed and, and it emits more CO2. It's a no-brainer that we would continue to supply a market overseas that demands our product. Yeah, look, Australia sets targets and meets them and exceeds them. And, and in terms of our emissions on, on a global scale, we are tiny compared to countries like China and India and the US. The reality is that... Not if you tie in the emissions then of the use of the coal in that country. But not plan. our decision to burn the coal. It's other countries' decisions. And, and Australia is a, is a sovereign nation and other countries are sovereign nations. They make decisions and, and then they create a demand and we satisfy that demand. We, we just need to get there. We need to make hydrogen commercial. And, and the faster we do that, the faster we lower emissions. I mean, hydrogen and carbon capture and storage, along with nuclear energy, are the things that will lower Australia's emissions the fastest. And if that's the goal, then yes, we should be really going hard on hydrogen. And it's not just Twiggy. It's, as I say, a whole range of companies across Australia. We are working with the state government on resources industry development plan and we're hoping the Premier might give us a glimpse of that today uh, because the industry does face a strong future. We are continuing to grow uh, in, in amongst those changes and in amongst that greater use of technology, which we are good at. And one of my listeners says, Ian McFarlane makes the coal industry sound like a drug dealer. So long as people want the drugs, coal, they'll keep supplying it. If we stop selling it, they'll buy poorer quality drugs from someone else. Seriously, take responsibility, stop digging out and selling the coal. Yeah, I, I just say to the caller, has he or she used coal today? And I guess she has or he has. Uh, not too much solar working today. The power in Queensland will be coming from baseload coal. The car he or she drives has, a, has about a tonne of coal in it. Uh, I could go on and on, but I think people have got to be realistic about this. Australia is doing its bit in terms of lowering global emissions, and, and the industry is doing its bit to be part of that. We're part of the solution.